Hey, how's it going, everyone? What is up? Welcome back to the channel and your daily dose of Mortal Kombat 11 news, leaks, and discussions. Today, we have a reaction. Uh, Melina's gameplay is finally here. Everybody's freaking out. It's here. I stayed up all night for it because I had a feeling it was going to drop today, and it did, and here we go. Um, I didn't stream it because I didn't know for sure that they were going to actually drop it today, but they did, so without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into this. I'm so curious. Excuse me being a very sleepy boy. I literally woke up for it again. Mother wants us to live as sisters. Further proof that she's lost her mind. Let us be a family. I'm interested. I'm definitely interested. Overhead. Unga bunga bullshit already. Oof. There was a teleport. Everybody's wondering what she's got. Oh god, what the fuck? Yeah, and she's beating up Devora in her trailer, of course. That's a weird looking fucking skin, but it's cool as shit. She's got her roll. She's got her roll. That's cool as hell. And she's got a variation of her, uh, variation in MKX. That's so insane. She's got her low size. <laughs> I'm actually interested. This character looks good. It's mirrorless, too. Wow. There's that move that we saw in the uh, gameplay pictures. Ouch. Damn, that's brutal as hell. What the fuck? Fatality. Goddamn Sonic the Hedgehog! Jesus Christ! There's the outro. That's dope. That was that that was cool as fuck. It was really fucking cool. Um Already like initial thoughts, like I'm seeing a lot, like a, a whole lot of shit. Uh, from her gameplay that's like a variation of MKX. And it looks like it's, it's even more so loyal than most of the other things in MK11 that come from MKX. I mean, this seems like... She seems like she is very loyal to her MKX character. Like, she's got the meterless role. It looks like that it's meterless, but if you want to combo off of it, you're gonna have to spend a meter. Which, MK11, that makes a lot of sense. She's got her, uh, split, um, low side throw. She's got a variation of her teleport. Like, if you played MKX Melina, it looks like you're gonna feel, like, very at home as soon as you touch this character. But, let's watch it again. Let's watch it one more time. <coughs> Cough. I'm very interested in this character already. She looks really fun right off the bat. I like the Sindel shout out because a lot of people, me included, and a couple of my friends were like very like curious uh, how they were going to handle that because it's the first ever game with intro dialogue and uh, shit where Melina and Sindel and Katana are all in the same game. And there's the teleport. It doesn't look like you can combo off of it, which is unfortunate, but it's still there. And that's a crushing blow. Wow, that is... She's got a lot of long animations. And there's a crazy version of a roll. Yeah, and then there's the... There's a variation of her variation mo in uh, Mortal Kombat X where she could go invisible and stuff. But it looks like that's gonna be like more like along the line of Spawn. Where she can like actually move around and shit. That, that looks so similar to her MKX combo. <laughs> I 
And then even her, even her fatality, that's a move from MKX where she'd like stab on my bike. It's like, this is, this is pure fan service right here. This is 100% fan service. See the fatality one more time. Fucking Sonic the Hedgehog. Jesus Christ. So yeah, wow, that's Melina. Uh, fan service the character. Uh, I'm not complaining. She looks really cool. Uh, I'm very interested to see how the character is actually gonna like where she's gonna place on the tier list because I'm wondering if they're gonna give us a fan service character without making her the best character in the game. That's probably the thing that I'm curious about because I know me. Me personally, I'm really worried about Melina coming to the game and completely wrecking the tier list and just being the number one character in the game. Not only do we have to hear about her for a year and a half until she gets added, but we're going to have to hear about her for another year and a half because she's the best fucking character in the game. But I guess we'll see. She literally looks like fan service the character. If you're a Melina fan and you're not happy with this, you're crazy because this is like fan service the character. I'm not even a fan of Melina, and she looks dope. Like, I'm definitely going to be playing the character. I'm very interested in her. Um, I'd love to hear what you guys think. Leave me a comment down below. Uh, let me know what you think of Melina. Do you agree? Do you think she's fan service to character? Is she, like, not at all what you wanted? I don't see how. Uh, let me know little things that you picked up that no one else has. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about it. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Please like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Tootin, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.